Hey guys, what's up? I have a One Piece theory here to present today, and it's regarding Big Mom's words in the most recent chapter of One Piece, 1040. The theory goes a little something like this. Now, what if the One Piece is comprised of a set of islands? As Big Mom said in the most recent chapter, some of it is here too. This could imply that some of the islands that make up what the One Piece is supposed to be are comprising Wano right now. Now what if after all those islands come together, it will be what the Ancient Kingdom was, and the Ancient Kingdom could have been named the One Piece. Professor Clover was about to mention what the name of that kingdom was before he was killed, and its name seemed to hold great meaning. It could also be the case that it was not named the One Piece, but rather the One Piece was a project the Ancient Kingdom embarked on to bring together a set of islands as One Piece. Getting all those specific islands together into One Piece is something like a mini Pangea. Interestingly enough, in Merjwa, there is a Pangea castle, which could have been some sort of foreshadowing. This could also tie into Ors, the continent puller. There is a popular theory right now about Joy Boy being an ancestor of Ors. What if he was supposed to transport Laftail to the set of islands, but got lost on the way? It would certainly tie in with why the Roger Pirates thought it was such a funny story. It was also mentioned that Zanisha was Joy Boy's companion, and Zanisha could have certainly helped with the transportation of islands, seeing as Zanisha is currently carrying Zo right now. But perhaps the crime Zanisha committed could be tied to the transportation of islands as well. The island of Zo and the promise Joy Boy made to Fishman Island could tie into the set of islands that are what would comprise the One Piece. They could have been part of the plan as well to make up the One Piece. Maybe Zanisha is here in Wano right now to transport Zo as part of the islands that are comprising Wano right now. Anyways, if you want my final two cents, I believe that Alabasta, Fishman Island, Zo, and Wano will all play pivotal roles if this theory does come into fruition. They will be a major part of the set of islands that will make up the One Piece. Uh, one last part to this theory is I think it's really interesting uh, how Oda revealed Kid's awakening to be uh, affecting the polar force of objects or beings. Um, and I believe this could also play a role in the uniting of islands as a sign could technically be put on one island and another island and it could bring them together. This would imply that Kid would play a pivotal role in the future of the story going forward. And I don't really want to bring up power scaling in this, but could that actually imply that he could apply a sign to one planet or a moon and apply a sign to earth as well and technically kid would be planetary in that case but uh, I don't want to push any agendas not that I have any uh, and I'll leave that up to those that love to power scale anyways thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and please leave a comment as well. I'd love to discuss this further with you guys and let me know your thoughts on this theory as well and any additions uh, or subtractions you want to take away from it. Thank you so much and have a good day.